Hello, fair maiden, and welcome back from the weekend. Well, sunny today, but hyper aware of your moment to moment reality. That's my prediction for the virgins of the zodiac. That's because the moon, which focuses our emotions, is focused still in Aquarius, which for you is lifestyle. Remember, lifestyle starts with how we are on the body, but it also includes the way we go to work, the way we work, how we have lunch, do we have lunch. It's everything we do day in and day out, our moment to moment performance in life. And this is really what Virgos are great at. And I must point out, Jupiter is in this space for the rest of 2009. Now, Jupiter is the planet that forces expansion. And from the expansion of our awareness, fortune pours in. Because we can't like cast something we don't know is potentially possible, right? So Jupiter shows up always to an area and says to the universe or says to the person, hey, did you know you could have this? Did you know it could be this way? Did you know you could be carried to work instead of having to walk? There are a lot of options. In fact, with lifestyle, in the last two chapters or since January, Many things may have been falling apart in your lifestyle, like you were, maybe you had to move, maybe you had a job fell apart, maybe a car broke down. But these were all areas where Jupiter was saying, you know, you can have greater than all these things. You really can. But it's hard to see that as fortune when we're in it, when we're losing things that we thought we should be attached to. So the first two chapters have not been so much fun. But we're about to begin chapter three of Jupiter in Aquarius, and I do believe the fortune will start to come. In fact, this is an excellent week for you to be very clear and make some decisions about what you want Jupiter to bring you for the rest of the year. So if you want a new car, if you want a new cubicle, if you want a new body, now's the time to make those decisions. Now zipping around to the sun, we're in chapter one of Sun in Aries. This month the topic is your trust and intimacy issues. A lot of Virgos out there wanting to have long-term relationships, wanting their marriages to work, but before they can work, you gotta face the intimacy issue. So in the first 10 days, or the next seven days I should say, of the Sun in Aries, things may fall apart when it comes to you trusting other people, or you trusting yourself, or you being trustworthy to other people, because that's what this boils down to, trust. If we trust, we can open our borders. If we don't trust, we can't open our borders. And the reason why we do or don't trust is due to usually scar tissue and past issues of life, lifetimes or times when people have betrayed us. So in the next seven days, I just want you to know you're gonna be feeling a little extra vulnerable than usual, and you're gonna have a lot of trust issues exposed. But don't worry, we'll get through it this month, Virgo. All right, that's all I have to kick off the week. See you tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So garden.